Hello, Sam here, editor of Oracle Time, and today I'm here with a question. What sort of watch can you get for £400,000? You can get a lot of things for that money, a nice three-bedroom house where I grew up, the new Ford GT, or this, the Global 4Z GMT Sport. Now, property doesn't need any explanation, and the Ford GT is the modern iteration of an icon, but why exactly does this one timepiece cost so much? It's no secret that fine watchmaking can get pricey, but Global 4Z take things to the extreme. They are, in many ways, the ultimate high-end independent manufacturer, producing a handful of incredible timepieces each year, often with an entirely new movement for each watch. In the GMT Sport, that movement contains a lot of different functions. There's local time, obviously, suspended by a bridge at the centre of the dial, but there's also a second time zone hand, and the watch's most obvious feature, the globe. That globe is both beautiful to look at and, if you know your geography, a world timer, showing every time zone simultaneously. On top of that, there's a tourbillon, designed to help offset the effects of gravity and inclined at 20 degrees. Usually Global 4s you go for 30 degrees, but decided to switch things up for this new calibre. The 45mm chunk of titanium is wearable despite its size and sits nicely on the wrist. It's still substantial, and needs to be to house the various functions and complications, but it's nothing compared to, say, the GMT Earth, also from Global 4Z, a huge platinum number that's not exactly comfortable to wear. The main highlight of this particular case, however, is the bezel, which, like some Dali-esque visual illusion, shifts from elliptical when viewed from the side to circular when seen straight on. That unique shape, in turn, means the crystal is insanely curved, making it incredibly hard to mill from a solid sheet of sapphire. Every edge of the watch has been beveled, every surface polished to a mirror shine or sandblasted for a matte finish. Even the hands have been dramatically curved to fit the crystal. In short, if you find any aspect that's less than flawlessly hand-finished, it's probably not a global 4 That's why each of their watches takes four and a half months just to finish. The problematic part of the watch comes with one word, sport. Obviously this is tapping into the current zeitgeist for integrated watches in the vein of designer Gerald Genta, the man behind the Odomar Piguet Royal Oak. And while it hits the luxury part of that without an issue, how does it fare on the sport side? I mean, this isn't exactly what you'd call a tool watch. The answer is surprisingly well, actually. There's a substantial amount of shock resistance, and combined with the titanium case, it's not so far removed from other luxury sports watches. So, for whether it's worth the price, that's entirely up to you. Someone paid £3.7 million for Tracy Emin's dirty bed, so there are worse things to spend your money on, and with far less justification. The bottom line, in all honesty, is this. If you need to question it, then the Global 4Z GMT Sport is not designed for you. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe for all the latest watch news and reviews. And don't forget to let us know in the comments what you think of the Global 4Z GMT Sport.